Welcome back to my channel, my Crystal Kings and Queens. So, um, this video, I, I feel like I've done a Moldavite update video since purchasing Moldavite. And I feel like each time I either get a new piece or I sit to just kind of spend some time with it whether it's next to me while i'm doing homework whether it's next to me while i'm reading um trying to study watching youtube videos whatever i make sure that i have it with me or on me so needless needless to say i wanted to do this video because i had a plethora of um ideas for one but um actually sat down or lay down with my emotions every single bit of emotion that i have had since having this crystal with me near me on me surrounding me whatever i cannot say that this stone I don't know if I've said crystal or stone, whatever. It's a tech type, but to keep it simple, this stone, I'm not sure this stone is the reason for everything that I have been experiencing coincidentally thus far, but me being the spiritual person that I am, I... I, I I don't just take things at face value. I have to look into them. I have to I have to understand it. I need to know the source of it, that type of thing. So I've had a multitude of conversations with God. Um, you know, I've prayed, I have meditated, I have just whatever I can do that I have thought of within reason per my spirituality I have most likely done because I want to know that this isn't just I don't know I don't know I, I guess I just want to know if it really is the stone um, I have talked a lot about in my past videos much older videos that um, at one point I was the type to believe a stone will do this, a stone will do that, it'll bring this, it'll bring that, um, and then ultimately transitioned into finding the real outlining between the historical references of a crystal or a stone all the way down to its purpose, its meaning, why we have it, why it's here, that type of thing. All of that is neither here nor there. Um, and needless to say, I just have to make sure that all that I'm experiencing and going through is not just life itself throwing itself at me or, you know, God aligning me to, you know, walk in my purpose uh, ultimately. Um, via his will but also just to see if this stone being the tool that it is because they're all tools to me they're they're tools they're not you know whether it's a crystal or whatever they're they're all considered tools to me um they're all here to help with something um whether you believe it or not for some, you know, it is a tool of manifestation, a tool of um, great wealth, prosperity, and health. It's a tool for, you know, witchcraft. It's a tool for the Wiccans, the Pagans, whatever. It, to each his own. For me, crystals have always been... Well, not always, but have recently um, in the past, within the past few years, they have recently become my outlet, my um, 
my voice of reason, um, my <laughs> my tool to keep me calm, you know, in the midst of chaos, because I can stress about a few different things, more likely to get overwhelmed, my anxiety is off the roof, diagnosed with panic disorder. Um, so their tool, you know, especially because I'm also a fidgeter, like I gotta have something in my hand to mess with, to play with, whatever. But um, they're just, they're my pocket prayers. I hope, I hope all of this is making sense because this is really, I, I don't want this video to be super duper long. So I really need to just go ahead and get into what it is that I actually took notes on. I will probably just read them ver uh, verbatim because um, earlier this morning I had so many thoughts and emotions that just kind of took over my mind, just ran through me and I want you all to know that if you have Moldavite just the same um, for Libyan court uh, Libyan desert courts uh, though this is not that video um, but for any of you who have Moldavite or are thinking even considering at the slightest to get this you know tectite this stone if you have it whatever you need to know a handful of things you need to know a handful of things like I wish I wish more videos like this were put out on YouTube because there are very few very little I found one person who was able to talk to me about it the way I needed to be able to digest this the way I needed in order to understand this stone appropriately in such a manner after having bought so many of them in such a small amount of time and um, after just reading the basic knowledge you know that everybody can find out here on the internet about Moldavite I needed to know more than that I needed to hear more than that. I needed to know that you know I need to know more than Oh my God, your life is just going to fall apart. It's going to shape shift into God knows what. It's going to make you lose this, make you gain that, make you feel this, make you want that. Like, I needed to know more. And I got that from um, this one YouTuber. So, um, shout outs to her for sure. I can't really remember her name. If I do find it, then I'll, you know, for sure give credit where credit is due. But, um,. Let's go into everything that I have. I'm like, I'm watching the time. I'm already eight minutes in and I'm not even at the epitome of what it is that I wrote down. You hear me? So let me just go in. So I'm just going to read. I'm just going to read. And if I feel like expanding, cool. If not, then at least you have the gist of what it is that I have been experiencing. So, um... First and foremost, uh, when I initially began wearing Moldavite, um, I wore my first night at work. Mind you not, I do 12 hour shifts at night. I'm a night owl, so um, I clearly work night shifts. So um, when I was at work, it was completely chaotic. Um, it always is in the emergency room. That's just what it is. So completely chaotic, but I felt so super high high on I don't even know like I hadn't drank anything um I hadn't you know what I mean like it was nothing out the ordinary I wasn't like amped on caffeine like it was nothing to that nature but I felt really high um but grounded at the same time I don't really know either way I felt like as I'm reading from what I wrote I felt like I was moving in slow motion at work while everything seemed extremely sped up around me so that was the first first thing second this has been a really really big one so just to give you a flat-out basis or foundation to this um, bit of input here I cannot eat sweets because I just get toothaches I love it but I can't eat them it just gives me the worst toothaches ever yeah I go to the dentist I'll do that neither here nor there but um, aside from just in general not being able to consume sweets 
now even if I want to like just the smallest piece smallest piece of a Kit Kat Snickers or freaking Milky Way I can't I cannot digest it without having an extreme stomach ache usually it was just a toothache now you're talking a toothache and a stomach ache I can't eat sweets um, out of the blue I've only wanted to drink water like water only nothing but water usually I'm a huge tea person I love sweet tea herbal tea um, any t uh, Tahitian vanilla um, honey vanilla like anything vanilla or you know that type of thing like that's my thing tea is my thing vanilla tea I love it um, so usually that's what I also consume and you know nothing more than that um, never been a huge water girl because it just has no taste like who wants to drink water like that all the time so now I can't stop drinking water I only want water and then when I don't want water I need water because I'll wake up with cotton mouth I'll wake up you know freaking like mouth so dry just like my thirst needs to be quenched like I am dehydrated and I've had so much water already so right now um, I was inspired by a co-worker she bought she's doing a gallon challenge She's been working on it and she's been doing much better than me but um i've only been able to consume like a half a gallon a day if um if that like if a little more so i went and purchased me a gallon bottle and it keeps track uh it keeps i don't know if you can really see it but it keeps track of the gallons or whatever or the amount of water you have so i don't know um, so I make sure that I keep this clean, keep it filled with water, um, ice, whatever, just so that I can drink it. So I've been on that kick. Like, I've been on that type of health kick. I'm not quite sure. Can't eat sweets. Only want to drink water. I'll drink tea here and there now. Not much of it. Um, and that has helped with, like, a lot of the dryness in my hair. So that's a plus. But um let me see so these past two weeks i've i'm usually able to eat whatever it is that i want you know without being food conscientious um i love food i'm in love with food so as long as it looks good smells good it's you know presentation is one key sign me up i'm all for it um, but that has not been the case. I cannot eat whatever it is that I want without my system being screwed up. Like, you want fried chicken? What? No, no, we don't. We don't want that. You want cheese? I don't know too much about that. You can have a little bit, but not too much. Don't do too much. You want, you know, fatty foods? You know, brisket? Pork belly? It's super good, but no mm -mm, we don't want that we don't want it like i'm a carnivore i love meat and not to offend um a lot of you all who are vegetarian pescatarian vegan I, I don't really know the difference between any of that so if you know this comes across as a little ignorant just please forgive me um i'm just not fully aware of the differences between all of that stuff nor have i really ever researched it so moving on um yeah so my system just won't let me eat whatever it is that i want anymore for as long as i'm freaking wearing moldavite or i have it around me somewhere you know what i'm saying right now i am wearing it I'm wearing my my pendant but um can't eat what i want can't drink what i want either and now all i want is fruit freaking a i got um <sighs> darn apples i do not eat apples like that nor have i ever i really like them always but apples freaking cherries in in my refrigerator um like i want fruit i want things that are just kind of gonna settle my system i'm eating salads like i am legit on the healthiest health kick that i think i've ever been in my life and i'm trying to make sure that i do it appropriately because um, or without thinking appropriate. I don't know. I don't I don't really know. I just I'm not trying to lose weight because your girl already small like The last thing I need to do is disappear. 
So, um, that's just not what I'm into. Um, and freaking now, like, I love, I, well, I don't love it, but I, I've gotten into guacamole. I've been dabbling here and there trying to eat some of that. So it ain't like the most terrible thing. It's just, it's a very weird consistency, very weird texture in my mouth. I don't, I never really care for that. I don't like avocados. So that's different, but I'm working on like really eating a lot of guacamole. Like I just, it's so good in a very odd way for me. It's not usual. It's not normal. Um, on top of that, yogurt. I, frozen yogurt would be the most you can give me to eat yogurt. Now I'm eating yogurt without it being frozen. I don't know. Chapani, Chabani, I don't really know what that yogurt is, but that's that's the yogurt that I'm that I've been messing with. Okay, moving on because I got a lot to go. So now from here I'm gonna just be reading. Um oh my god. So I had an emotional breakdown for one day for a few hours. I prayed, I screamed, threw a few things, I cried. I was an emotional mess, an emotional wreck. Yeah. Um, that's how that went. I am ready to finish a handful of projects that I have been working on for the absolute longest. So that will be taken care of. Um, I would say what it is, but I'm gonna keep working in silence. Um, <laughs> so my school I am almost finished about to graduate but clearly they felt the need to okay well you're gonna have a career soon we're gonna let you practice paying for your tuition so got dropped from financial aid like completely <laughs> got to pay for my own school and books now where they do that at I don't know like thank god my my loans you know are still deferred because I'm in school but you know what I'm saying now I gotta pay for my classes I've already been paying for my books but now my classes as well all right that's cool I got like a few more months to a year left so that's neither here nor there um a friend and I had a fallout um it was pretty big but like nothing like extremely dramatized or anything I'm fairly close with everybody at work like my fellow co-workers they're just the absolute best so this was just kind of one of those moments. Um, nothing at work, nothing happened at work. Um, we just had a very huge disagreement and <laughs> handled it appropriately, um, though in our own little way. So it's, it is what it is. We're cool, but we're not close anymore. We're just not, we're not close anymore. It will never be the same. So whatever. Um, I have had to reflect on a lot of past friendships, past connections, past situations. Everything about it has just, it brought, it, thinking about all of that, thinking about the predicaments and circumstances that I went through and dealt with um, within those past moments brought this disgustingly overwhelming amount of emotions that I I nearly had to just go shower like I had to shower all of this off I had to shower these feelings off of me it was it was utterly unfathomable unfathomable how disturbing and disgusted I was how disturbed and disgusted I was at just these thoughts so there you go Multiply to do that, I guess, if it's multiply doing this. These things hadn't happened to me before. So, moving on. Um, you know, freaking A. Um, gosh, and I like had the urge to like write every person that I can remember in my mind. Write every person down and just 
figure out a way to rid myself of any negative emotions towards these people. I don't know. Moving on. So, um, I am a very vivid dreamer, a very lucid dreamer, um, usually, occasionally. Um, I am very in tune with my spirit. I am discerning, or I have the gift of discernment. Um, I can see in the spirit, I can hear in the spirit. Um, I could say I've walked in the spirit in a very minor way, but that would kind of be more so because of a meditational moment that I had. So I don't know, you know, take from it what you may. But um, I had a very dream. I had a very dream. I had a dream about my sister's dad. I knew nothing about him, knew nothing of him. I knew not his name, what he looked like, never met him, nothing. Neither has she. But I had a dream about him, a situation regarding him. Um, I heard his name three times, asked my mom about it or talked to my mom about it. And she was just like, what? Why? Why would you say that name? Why would you say that name? Hey, look, I don't know. That's the name that I got. You know him or not? You know? Yeah, I know him. That's, you know, that's your sister's dad. Oh my God. That's insane. So that's how that went. Um, hopefully he's okay. I don't really know. I just had a dream. So... A situational dream call it what you want uh, moving on I just thought that was really weird because I knew nothing about this man um, anyway moving on um, I seem to get way more irritated now with stupidity though that's always been a pet peeve of mine now it's like almost intolerable um, yeah so for those who aren't good for me or who is in my little space now um, I am now at this point at this I don't care type of feeling type of moment like if you got to go go it is what it is like whatever you know I'm just ready to release everything and everyone out of my life that don't need to be here like I am just getting too old for the foolishness the ridiculousness the stupidity it's just any anything related to stuff that I don't got time for like I'm ready to just let go let it walk out of my life as quick as it needs to whatever push it out you know whatever next this should have been number one this should have been number one for those of you who buy Moldavite or thinks about it if in fact you do receive Moldavite in a way that you're compatible with it I, I don't know if you if you find that you're compatible compatible with Moldavai if you're able to receive it well the very minute you look or touch your first if the very minute you look at your first piece or touch your first piece the very minute you purchase your first piece you are going to want to buy more and more and more you will not be able to stop thinking about this stone you will not be able to get away from it it is an it is an addictive feeling it's odd it is so odd so strange so weird so frustrating because i'm like i can't get this stone off of my mind i can't stop thinking about it i want more of it like just give it all to me just Give it to me, please. I want it. I need it. I have to have it. Um, I have purchased every stone that I could possibly want, probably, you know, in my entire crystal collection from the amethyst all the way down to the clear quartz, to the selenite, to the carnelian, you know, calcites, rose quartz, freaking citrine, you name it. I probably got it. Banner tonight, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I have so much. I have so many crystals. It's, beyond me why i have so many or <laughs> my purpose in it aside from you know why i'm actually rooted in 
crystals historically now but after purchasing all of those types of crystals and stepping into the world of Moldavite, there is no need for me to buy a, another stone, another type of stone at all. Like it just, I have it all. I have all of them. I have all of the, the types of crystals that I could possibly ever want. So now I feel like Moldavite is that closing chapter. Moldavite is the end of my crystal collection. I have no need to purchase any other type of crystal. Why? For what? Anyway, you won't be able to stop thinking about it is the point that I'm trying to make. You won't be able to stop thinking about it. You won't be able to stop, to stop wanting to purchase them or you won't be able to stop buying them. <clears throat> like this this crazy this stone will have you out of your mind almost like in a good way it's so weird because a lot of things can go on with me with having this stone a lot of tables can be turned flipped upside down right side up whatever but it's like you still really enjoy the sense the sense of self it brings you the sense of having this stone you just enjoy it you want nothing less than it you know what i'm saying um so oh my god we're 26 in so um big one really really big one also the stone will make you pamper yourself you hear me if you have not treated yourself done much for you i don't and now i'm saying the stone the stone does this maybe it is i don't know but this is this is what's been happening to me as of late since purchasing my first one um now i'm a very firm believer in you know people people's stories people situations um you know testimonies whatever influencing you know your thoughts and your experiences which is why i'd rather go in clean bare natural just me without any extra extra without any further influence i don't want any of it i want to experience this myself i want to experience what i'm going to experience i want it to be a natural organic experience i need it to be mine my experience alone my personal experience personalized customized to me to fit me I don't want nobody else's experience. Not to say that they won't be similar, but I wanna know that it is just as valid and organic without the distractions or disturbances of others and blah, 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 you know, what have you. So anyway, I'ma just read ahead of how I wrote it. This stone will make you pamper yourself force yourself to treat yourself so yeah if you've not done anything good for yourself in a very long time you get this stone if this is what it does for you or to you you will you will stop at nothing to make sure you have the best of the best of whatever it is that you want you got it go get it you know what i'm saying so um it makes you take care of yourself because you deserve it clearly i deserve it i might feel a little guilty about it um might be a little on edge my anxiety might be a little spiked because i've spent some crazy amounts of money or what have you but i feel good when i'm getting it like and it's i don't feel like it's a temporary thing i mean everything here on this earth is temporary we take nothing with us when we go no matter where it is you believe you go we take nothing with us or forgive me in my opinion which belongs to me not you I believe we take nothing with us when we go I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna go any further into that kind of conversation because I don't want to offend anybody uh, offend anyone or make anyone feel uncomfortable so I'm gonna stop there um, in regards to that but um whatever you want you can have it if it's expensive so what who cares if you got it get it do it spend it and once you do don't worry about it because that money will flow back to you 10 times fold. I can guarantee it. That used to be a huge anxiety of mine.
but I've never gone without because God has always taken care of me. And I thank God for that. He's always taken care of me, no matter what. So I'm still learning to stop worrying so much about that. Um, anyways, um, since I have gotten the stone, though, I've done nothing but treated myself. Like, literally. And though it's a very odd feeling because I don't do it often. I'm usually the type that's helping others, giving to others before me, um, before myself. I can definitely say I've enjoyed it. I've had a few uh, <laughs> panic attacks, you know, looking at my bills, but you know, my bills are always taken care of nonetheless. Like I, I don't ever stress about that. Don't ever worry about that. That. Thank you, Lord. But, um, I mean, um, I've had a few panic attacks looking at, like, my receipts of what I've spent. So, anyway, just get what you want. It, it's going to make you do it anyway. So, just go ahead and, you know, don't fight that. Um, my mind will no longer set it for, set, sheesh, get it together. I'm wearing two pieces right now, so that's probably what has me tripping like this. My mind will no longer settle for less. That means people, happiness, careers, jobs, passions, um, my uh, whatever I'm deserving of, like I will not settle for less. What it is that I want, I'll go get. And if I don't go get it myself, I'll be placed in a position, granted that I'm aligned within that thing or that moment, um, I'll be placed in a position enough to get it. It'll come to me. That's just how it'll go. I'm not worried about it. I'll end up with it regardless. Um... I've become more bold. I've been bold, but like, you know how you can say something without thinking? Like, it just kind of flat your mouth like that? Yeah, that's me now. Um, I've become more emotional. Usually able to hold my emotions in. Yep, that's out the window. It's just, if it's going to flow, it's going to flow. Um, I'm more open, more transparent. Um, that's just that. Again, anything such as stupidity, ignorance, inconsistency, insensitivity, incompetent, it all irritates the absolute crap out of me. It irritates me more than ever. Uh, um, yeah, more than ever. It's just, I'm, I'm just very intolerable of it. Very intolerant. I can't stand it. I don't want to deal with it. It's got to go. You got to go. If you ain't here to benefit my energy, my aura, where I'm trying to go, you got to go. Um... That's same. Again, it most definitely brings up past emotional thoughts, torments, traumas, you know, reminding me of a handful of things that I didn't care to think about or wanted to deal with. Um, you know, you might feel disappointed, sad, unclear, uh, vulnerable. I did. So, you know, expect that probably. Um... I could say though it's it's because I suppose it's because it wants you to acknowledge those things in the past so that you're able to um, move forward into the best you for your future for the betterment of you and your future it makes you want it makes you want the best for yourself no matter at the risk or stake or cost of others like it's not gonna have you throwing people under the bus to get to the top but it will not allow you to belittle yourself downgrade yourself settle for less less than what you deserve less than who you are in order to become the better half of you that you were maybe too afraid to release or maybe you just didn't even know you had it in you I don't know um, you definitely become your own best friend I'm learning a lot about myself and I'm loving it I love every part of myself it is teaching me that releasing 
toxic people releasing toxic things, toxic circumstances. It will teach you a lot about yourself, a lot about what you do like, don't like, will tolerate, won't tolerate, will take, won't take, you know, that type of thing. Um, and make sure you know your worth, your true value. Um, to help you to understand that you're just as valuable as any king or queen. You might not have everything that they have, but everyone's definition of wealth is completely different. Everyone's definition is different. So what you may find wealth in, someone else could be the total opposite. Um, it just helps you to understand that you deserve nothing less. Again, nothing less than happiness, joy, peace, love. You know, any, any thing that's going to be the best for your spirit, for your energy, for your vibration, for you, for your future, for your future self, for your, you know, current circumstances and on forward. You know, you deserve the best every day, no matter what. Um, hmm, this is a big one. It allows you to let go of everything and everyone. Or, I'm sorry, it allows you to let go of everything and every concern or worry that is out of or beyond your control. If you cannot fix it, help it, move it, shape it, let it go. Let it go. It's not yours to worry about. And if it is yours, stop worrying about it. Because if you could do something about it, then you would. If you could do something about it and didn't, then that's that's on you. But um, there's also a difference of circumstances regarding that too. So we're not going to go into that. Needless to say, what you can control, I'm sure you'd fix. What you cannot control, you've got to let go. Let it be. Um, moving on. It just makes you want to be happy. Need to be happy. You're required to be happy. Like, I am required to be happy. I have to be happy. Otherwise, my spirit feels like trash. I feel like trash. I'm not here for it. I'm just... I feel sad, depressed. You know, if, if I'm not doing something that's going to make me happy. It makes you wonder about a lot of things regarding your happiness. It'll make you want to be, it'll make you need to be happy. Um, definitely wants to make you, or it, it definitely makes you, it, this stone, this tectite, this crystal, this motivite, what? Again, I'm only speaking for myself since having it. These are everything that I have thought about, experienced, witnessed, all of that. So I'm going to say since having the stone, that is the more appropriate term, the more appropriate way to say that. Since having the stone, and I should have started that a long time ago within this video because we're almost at 40 minutes. Um, since having the stone, it has made me want to find my entire self. It has made me want to find my life's function, my life's purpose, my soul's purpose, why I'm here, what am I doing, what do you need me for, work through me, show me, please. Since having this stone, it has brought forth a lot of unanswered questions, unwanted emotions, and um, a lot of curiosity. All that, again, I need answers to, but slowly have received more and more aha type of moments um i'm probably looking back at this video and be like what was i thinking like really what I, what was i going through i don't know um since having this stone again like <laughs> this has been like the top thing it has just made me less tolerant of a lot of bs like i just can't stand it i can't deal with it i don't want to tolerate it bye bye you can get it gone. Bye. Um, it definitely won't let me bite my tongue. Or since having it, I have not been able to bite my tongue. Like, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say. And if it makes you uncomfortable, my apologies. 
but this is how I feel like I can no longer shield my feelings like I deserve to be able to speak on how I feel without feeling like I have to hide myself hide my true emotions hide who I am I shouldn't have to minimize myself so that you feel better about yourself we're not going for that so this this uh the stone it's a mean what you say say what you mean type of stone it is a no bs type of type of stone it's a no bs type of stone you don't want the bs get one get a moldavite don't get the bs get a moldavite <laughs> um it's given me the courage i've had i'm sorry i've had the courage to do a lot of things or want to do a lot of things i've i feel like i've i've had more courage is is where i'm gonna put that i'm gonna lay that right there i feel like i've had more courage i can get a little paranoid really cautious about doing certain things but i if you want to be bold in your movement trying new things doing new things stepping outside of your comfort zone this having this stone around me has made me so uncomfortable i have been very comfortable with being comfortable that anything outside of my comfortability seems extremely odd and strange and i don't like it so I have been very, very uncomfortable since having the stone near me, around me, on me. I am now becoming comfortable being uncomfortable. And that is strange, but it is the most freeing feeling in the oddest, most twisted way. It, I've, I've had more courage now than I've had in a while in regards to my emotions, expressing my feelings, my thoughts, um, in regards to thinking about what it is that I want to do with my life, with myself, being unapologetically apologetic. I'm, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. For what? Why? For me being me? If you don't like me, you don't have to be around me. I'm with myself 24-7, 365 days a week. I mean, a year. That would have been more appropriate if I said 24 hours, 7 days a week, 12 months out the year, 365 days. I don't know, whatever. I'm with me, regardless. You don't have to be me, you don't have to be around me. So if you don't like me, it's your loss. It's okay, I'm not going to fight you about it. Um, but... I've, I've gotten the courage to want to do things that I've never done before. And oddly enough, certain things will be placed around you so that those things that you need courage for, you're actually able to manage to attack, to, um, to actually do. Crazy. Um, the very last one, and then I'm just going to cut this. Uh, a lot of people have said that Moldavite, um, since wearing Moldavite or having it around them, it's made them sick, it's made them dizzy, it's made them nauseous, um, it's made them lightheaded, um, just a bunch of different symptoms that it's given them that has not felt good to the body. I myself I suppose that this is because this stone is so high vibrational as a lot of people put it 
it's so unique it's so different this stone's energy is the complete opposite of what we are that I believe anything opposite of that which you already are it has to now align itself with you it has to connect with you it has to either show you how to receive its vibration or it receive yours some stones they download information so I'm told but for this stone in particular you become <laughs> you become the stone you become one with it like it forces you to align yourself with it it forces you to match its vibration not the other way around but not the other way around so any toxins anything that's not good for you anything that's around you that's not good for you all of that has to come up out of you it's like regurgitating something that has made you sick on the stomach you eat something that just wasn't good it wasn't healthy maybe you're allergic to it you have a bad reaction to it so anything that you put within your body that is just not good for you or around you it it is one it is trying to cleanse you trying to purge you of it so that that is what I believe since having this stone has done to me like I'm not able to just eat random things anymore like now I have made an almost you know 85% transition in my eating habits within a month I've only had this stone for a month coming up it's different it is different it makes you want to be different in such a really good way it makes you want different it wants you it makes you want new something that you're not used to so um I can't think of much more to say about this I've experienced a whole lot of things but I've also I feel like I've done very well with journaling it via posting it and you know sharing this with you all I just feel like it's really important because I have gone through a plethora of emotions um like just back and forth up and down like it's been real tumultuous but here I am and I think that this stone is something to really be looked into I thought everybody was just like really tripping for real like ah this are you kidding me this does this really happen like is this really a thing like I started looking up so many different things after having spent some time with this stone myself that I was like okay well maybe I just need to you know back like this thing will make you <laughs> binge YouTube videos binge tiktok video like whatever there is on moldavite it'll make you binge it like you want to know more and more and more you want to know why things are happening what is what's happening what's going on it makes you want more of it so um i think that it is a very great stone to look into i've watched maybe two videos now i believe so far on robert simmons um regarding Moldavite and let me tell you nothing he said was wrong that's for sure and anyone else for that matter we all experience things differently every crystal um, we all align to differently but this stone right here this stone right here go get you a piece Go get you a piece and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Either you'll receive it or you won't. Either it'll work well with you or it won't. Either you'll get a response from it or you won't. But you won't know. But try it. You just try it. Talking about Moldavite. I'm telling you something else here. Now let me stop this. Bye.